As a dog trainer, you need to look at your dog's poop. It's an important pro tip of the day. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we are back with another trip video. I don't have him out right now because I'm actually going to get things set up first and then bring him out after the fact. Today is all about flushing birds. Now, what we're going to be doing is utilizing um, what we would call a clip wing pigeon or a flightless pigeon and tossing it into this reasonable cover for a little puppy. You kind of have to evaluate that. Some of the cover that we have access to would be this tall. And when our cocker puppy is only this tall, that's lots of cocker puppies over their head. And if you were to imagine walking through an extremely dense forest that's 10 times taller than you, it could be intimidating. So we want to start easy. This is fairly light grass. It should be pretty easy for him to maneuver through. We're going to work him downwind of these birds allow him to use his nose, start to activate that bad boy, run in, build confidence, flushing birds, catching them. All of those things are wonderful to build a little flushing dog. Once he picks them up, he should hopefully bring them back to me-ish, but he'll be dragging a check cord so that we can encourage him back with each individual bird. I'm going to throw out three. We'll throw one over here, one over here, and then one down this way. Now, the big part about this that's gonna be a little different is he's going to get some access to working into the wind to find his bird, and then he's going to have to work a little bit um, where the wind might actually be at his back, and he'll have to turn around to come back to it. All of these things are going to be challenging his nose, encouraging him to use it, and ultimately find and flush birds powerfully and confidently. Let's get started. All right, just a couple more tidbits. We talked about a clip wing pigeon. There's two ways that you can go about this. Now, this is an important part of developing young flushing dogs. They have to actually flush wild birds, so we cannot use dead birds for this. We have to pull or cut the, the primary flight feathers. That's these big ones here, so that the bird can't actually fly away. I'm going to grab a hold of them and pull them out and then tuck those in a pocket. Otherwise they can become a big distraction for your little puppy. Now you have, bird has two flight wing, primary flight feather less wings, which allow it to flap around when he finds them, but not actually fly away. You can play around with this a little bit with the number that you're pulling out so that the bird has the ability to take off a little bit further, but not quite as much to again, build drive. The key though here that I wanted to explain, I missed before is this is not his bird introduction. We've already gone through that process. He has built a lot of drive around birds themselves. This is now to teach and activate his nose. All right, so we're gonna take and pitch this first bird here. All of this walking out with birds too is leaving some scent that will allow him to help determine the difference between hot scent and cold scent. Oh, sit down. Okay, we've got one bird there. We've got one bird there, one bird there, and then we're gonna get this last bird kind of up here closer to the tree line. This one has a little bit more flights because I kind of want it to be flightier. So I'm not gonna do the old tosseroo like I did with that because it might actually fly away. What I'm gonna come down here and do will be just to kind of tuck it into the grass there. So we have one, two, and three that we'll take trip out to work on here in just a second. All right, we've got him on our 20 foot check cord. We're gonna let him essentially free hunt here. You can see already he started using his nose a little bit. He's kind of following this trail um, where we walked out with the birds before I let it go. Now, I'm gonna make a cut on a pretty good downwind area. I wanna see how good is the little guy's nose. Oh, taking care of business. Good. As a dog trainer, you need to look at your dog's poop. It's an important pro tip of the day. All right, you got that taken care of. Let's get up here and 
Let's see if I can not block your ability to see him. All right, so our bird is up here in this lighter colored patch. He's doing a good job cutting through the grass. Good. Right there, he's already getting birdie. You see him turn, working, following his nose, working, 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 working. Yeah, baby. Flushing, enthusiastically, little maniac. Rock and roll. Woo, 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 woo. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Good boy. Good boy. A little parade with that's completely fine. Again, whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Not gonna take this away from him instantly. Gonna love on him, tell him he's a good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good pop. He did a really good job. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay, good. Now we're gonna put this one away here. Check that spot. And we're gonna start to work kind of back and forth through this area. The wind is a little bit at our back. Our next bird should be out in front of us here. With these young guys, we can kind of encourage them to have a good hunting pattern by us guiding them more the direction we'd like them to go. Good, come on. Oh, I've got an eye on it. It's coming back that direction. I got a feeling we're on the downwind side now. You're gonna see, you see him pick it up here pretty quick. There it is, right there. So he's hot on that now. Now he's gotta use his nose to figure it out. That bird's moved up here a little bit. Actively searching like a maniac. Love it, love it, love it. Lost it. Working, 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 working. Boom, heck yeah. Good chase, good chase. There you go, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Woo, woo, woo. Grab the check cord here, just to make sure that we can get him back into us. Good pop. That's a good pop, yeah. Yeah, good pop. Good puppy, good puppy, good puppy. Good puppy. He's got a really, really strong grip on these birds, which is awesome. I love it. And again, not instantly taking it from him, just loving him up, letting him have a good time here. Good, good, okay. Now we're gonna take it. Good boy. Let's go ahead and move on to the last bird. This one should be uh, just right up here. We're gonna work back and forth until he kind of gets a nose full. So this won't be a full downwind. He's gonna have to work at it a little bit and see if I can not be too distracting here. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, we're on the downward side again. This bird should be kind of between me and the camera right now. Good, let's go. Look into me for a little bit of direction. All right, watch this here. Oh yeah, full nose right there. Explosion, hey -oh. look at that. We left that one a little bit flightier. He's probably gonna cut off here, but he's up in the tree line now. Chasing, chasing, chasing. Oh, he's after it again. Good, this one flew up into the tree. Not the end of the world, I'm gonna give him a fun one. 
That's a long mark on that pigeon. And it's set down right there. He's probably gonna need some help on that. That went, <laughs> that went a little bit further than I thought it would. He's got the nose right for it, or the wind right for it, excuse me. All right, one more here, sit, sit, sit. Hey, hey, come sit, sit, good. Okay, that one will come down just right. Should have the, the wind right to be able to work this out. Easily work it out, I mean. It's puppy stuff, folks. Should be fun, should build dogs, should be exciting for them, exciting for you. Good boy. Let him carry that around a little bit. Good boy. Good boy, right here. Right here, bud. Good dog. Good dog. Alrighty folks, this is the uh, introduction to flushing. This is his first real time out here, having to 100% use his nose, fine birds, and he killed it. Just like almost everything Trip does, he looked like a maniac and we love it. Uh, this guy's gonna be a serious bird dog, hopefully hitting the ranch down there in El Tesoro before the end of the season. I'm gonna get him put up and cooled down. Thanks guys for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun, this is Trip. We'll see you in his next video. Thank you.